lots of ice is what is needed to keep Rojas City's seafood fresh off the boats. Under this floor is tons of water being frozen to ice here at one Rojas City ice plant. The ice molds are pulled from the floor and dipped in water to loosen the ice, ready for use on today's catch. Good morning, Rojas City. An ice truck at the city's port pulls its own crushing machine, which pumps the shaved ice straight into the boat's hold. Libas Fish Port, the main port, handles catch from 60 commercial fishing boats. Daily, around eight boats dock here, bringing in 35 tons of catch a day, consisting of 40 different species of seafood, smaller boats in the morning, larger ones after lunch. Another small shark appears with the catch today, along with king crabs, yellow scad, yellow-belly threadfin, anchovy, sea bass, short-bodied mackerel, giant tiger prawn, Indian white shrimp, gold-striped sardine, and it goes on and on and on. Finally, the fish are ready to be sold at open bidding run by fish dealers who conduct the auctioning. The seafood is then loaded up, some brought straight to the Rojas City Market, some off to Manila, Capiz Province, Calibo and Iloilo, while 50% of the catch going through Libas Fish Port in a day, around 15 tons, goes to the city's 100 dried fish processors drying facilities in six coastal barangays. Dried fish produced by Roa City is popular as it is not overly salty. It is Roja City's own Banica dried fish section which deals in the various species of dried fish for local sale or shipment off island. A bundle of sticks? No, it's just more fish. fermented oysters. And how about this, a work of art by Andy Warhol? No, it's just more fish. 90% of dried fish prepared here heads out to Manila. A major part of the food chain here is the roll-on, roll-off, or row-row ship, which sails between Roja City and Batangas Port every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. utilizing a double-deck design for maximum capacity. But let's pay a visit to Roa City's own fish market and again bear witness to the unending variety of seafood available here, fresh from the city's waters. Some blue crab, various shellfish, including the kagaikai raked up earlier on the city's beaches fish and shellfish in all shapes and colors. You can even find seaweed here. The variety seems absolutely endless. A catfish, a shark in collection of dried mini shark fins. Octopus. This is the city's Bye Bye Beach, 11 kilometers long, a favorite swimming site for locals and guests. Here, beside the People's Park Fountain of Colors, you can feast on fresh seafood from the sea at the many seaside restaurants here. And you can be 
ensure that fresh seafood is also a big attraction at the city's Kadimahan River Eco Park, Palina River Eco Park, and Kulahau Mangrove Reservation Eco Park. Food prepared by trained local fisher folk who operate the eco parks in cooperation with the city government. Truly one can say that Rojas City is a cornucopia of produce from the waters. What better way to end this tasty adventure to the seafood capital of the Philippines than with the city's stated vision? Our vision. We envision Rojas City as a God-loving, peaceful, healthy, and progressive seafood capital of the country, rich in sustainable natural resources, a community with strong democratic values, and fostered by a viable partnership between